how to create a booking form on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how simple it is to create a booking form within a Wix website. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Wix.com. Then you need to sign up into an account. If you have already an account, you will be good and you are going to sign in into it. Then you will see here the sites dashboard. After you have saw the sites dashboard, make sure to select the right website that you are going to add this booking form. So if you don't have, or in case you don't have a website, you are going to click on create a new website. Or if it is the first time uh, here attending Wix.com, they will suggest you to create a website from a template or from scratch or from the help of the AI. So with this done, we're going to select any of these websites that we have created. Then we are going to edit it. It will load up right there at the dashboard. And then we're going to see the, um, the option and also the features and the control panel of that specific website. You can go ahead and set the settings. If you are going to own a store or a service right there or uh, something that you are going to host in through your website, you need to set up your payment methods first. Go ahead and pay, set the payment methods. Then you are going to set the uh, shipping profiles if you are going to sell physical products. In my case, I will go ahead right there and create a, um, the booking form. How we can do that, it is very easy. So as you can see here, we have the left side menu or the control panel right there. You can see that you have a booking calendar. You can check the booking calendar right there. This is a calendar that you have. You can add some events, appointments right there. You can manage it right there also. And you have a booking list right there also. Uh, here you can add sessions to the calendars and also we have the work schedule. Now, this is uh, not our uh, subject for today, but this is a, another option that you will get uh, use of uh, in case you are going to set your uh, booking services. So right here, I'm going to click on catalog. On the catalog, we have a little menu. We have a booking services. We have gift cards and booking channels. You can add your booking services right there. And also you can create from here a booking form. As you can see here, we have a create a booking form. So when you click on it, it will give you the form that you are going to create. For example, form page and title, subtitle also. Here, you can go ahead and modify this, edit your page title, add your info from here. So for the page title, I'm going to set Jack. Jack's booking, for example. And for uh, add a subtitle with more information, tell us about yourself. You're going to set here um, a specialty uh, providing, for example, providing, and like that, uh, providing booking services and hotel, hotels reservation. So we are going to set that for the um, form fields. You are going to set those here. We have the name, we have the email. You can go ahead and set, for example, the custom label name. You are going to put it, for example, last name, last name, for example, like that. You are going to set it. This is a required field. And you can add a custom field here for the last name. We are going to need a first name paragraph. So short answer here, first name, name. We are going to make it required. So we are going to check this and we are going to, can we move it? Unfortunately, no. So you can go ahead and set the email here with the email and also you can add a custom field from there. We have the number of participant here. I don't think that I need that. So maybe we can delete that. I don't know. Uh, it is 
not very practical so we don't need that specific one you can add a your message here you can remove those there is some cases of some forms that you can remove but there is some like a uh, number of participants right there you can't um, uh, here put them but instead you can go ahead and uh, modify the name of them for example number of individual for example if you are going to set a booking of a hotel room individual uh right here individuals for the room i'm going to set that so uh here to book multiple people this is it so for the address you can go ahead and set the address or demand something else this is a uh, customizable instead of deleting it you can go ahead and customize it add your message you can add a message right there for example uh, or add a notice or a message it is up to you to do that when you finish setting up the form you are going to click on save form like that and here your booking form has been saved you can preview it on your site so for the uh, next steps right there it will show you the booking setup you are going to set up the default hours you need to set up also the staff resources email and sms notification now here for the online bookings we have some options we have the booking form we have the booking policies the card checkout multi-services or multi-service appointments appointments time slot and calendar time zone right there for the booking form here you are not going only to set up the booking form but you are going to do all these steps to make the uh, website that you have created within Wix fully functional. For example, you cannot make that website work without the staff. You can go ahead and add the staff, add the staff with the name, the description of that, or the role of that specific one. You can add a profile photo of that. Give them the permission right here. You can go ahead and set also the working hours of them so they will or the clients you will see that this person or this member of the staff will work at this time you can also set the default hours right there at that you are going to work for example from 9 to 6 or 9 to 5 click on save and here we have the resources you are going to set the rooms for example manage your availability of your resources you need to upgrade the plan for that so we are going to go back right there to the uh, booking channels here we have the booking services also you can integrate the booking into integration to facebook for example instagram google or hop you can also get some shareable links and uh, get a click and create them for example service calendar service pages and etc and here we have it that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.